So let's go into the last section. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. And that's from The Rock, also known as Dwayne Johnson. And he's totally right. <laughs> <laughs> right? I think he also took steroids at one point. But he's done well not because of the steroids, but it was from consistency. With outreach, it's a pain in the butt. But if you keep doing your outreach, you'll do well. It just takes time. And what most people forget with outreach, it really is comes down to relationship building. You're much more likely to respond to people you know, connect with them, and just engage versus random people who hit you up and just keep begging and asking for stuff. Build a relationship first before you ask. Then you can promote your content, right? So through the outreach, what you'll end up finding is when I write blog posts and I'm promoting it to my email list, uh, what I found is the more I promote, the more backlinks and social shares I end up getting. But when I promote during times like Monday, 11 a.m. in my time zone, I found that I do extremely well. So that's around 8 a.m. PST. If you're targeting people in Europe, you want to switch. But I have usually found out 8 a.m.s in the mornings work well. 6 a.m.s also work really well. You don't want to send more than four emails a month unless your list keeps growing at a fast pace or else you burn it out. But the point I'm trying to make is you can't just let your content sit there and build some links and expect to do well. You have to promote as well. You need to get the social shares. You need to get people visiting it from their browsers so that way Chrome is sending signals back to Google. You need to have people staying on that page for a long time because it helps your time on site and makes you look good to Google as well, right? And you can just use the email template I use to blast up my emails, and you can see it on the right side. You'll notice that I have a PS in my templates. The PS is to add in so you can drive conversions from the email. So if there's something that you're selling or a service, add it within the PS, and it'll help you generate more leads. If you're trying to find out influencers to reach out to in email so you can get them to promote your stuff, just go Google them. Try to find their author bio. A lot of times their email address is there. Or you can find them on Twitter. If you can't find them on Twitter, like their email address, because some people have it listed, right? Check out their contact page, because on their own websites, they have it on their contact page. If you can't find it there, check out privacy policies. Great place to go find email addresses. And if you can't find it there, you can just end up Googling and using this query, right? Uh, quotation mark star at their domain.com and quotation mark their full name and I'll show you their potential email address and then you can just go dig through the results and then see if you can just end up emailing them out but that's a great way to find influencers email address once you have someone's email address you can check out Mailshake so Mailshake you want to create a new campaign when you go to dashboard create a new campaign and once it's linked out to your email account then you say, all right, you know, here's the campaign, here's the title, here's the from address. Make sure you fill it out. Don't skip the steps. Then from there, you want to drop in all the recipients that you want to reach out to. And then you want to compose an email. You can add drips or replies so that way you can keep following up with them after. But this is how I do outreach. So then I can let people know like, hey, so-and-so, I got this post coming out. Notice you shared a similar post. By author X, Y, and Z, let me know if you want to see it, right? And it's really simple. And then you can just use the templates and follow up X amount of days after. The templates are really useful. Um, they have a ton of ready-to-made templates. So if you're not sure what to email people out with, Mailshake already has templates out for outreach and link building and all that stuff, so you don't even have to deal with it. And you can pick what the template is for, right? Broken link building, sales outreach, follow-up, guest blogging. And you can just do it in quantity. It works really well. Right? So just keep cranking, sending all that stuff out. And, and what you'll find is really quickly when you end up doing it, you can get a lot of people to shoot you emails. And then you can even do canned replies. And this works out extremely well because then you're engaging, building a relationship, and then you can manually take it over. So in other words, what I use Mailshake for is to start the process. And then I go in there after people start engaging, and I just manually build the relationship. And it works out really well. It's not hard to use. They even have tutorials, and they show you step-by-step -step on how to use Mailshake. 
Um, you can preview it to make sure your email looks clean, it's not spammy or anything like that. But yeah, uh, I also track my opens, track link clicks, and this all helps me determine if what I'm sending out is getting engagement, right? Um, and I also monitor, you know, all the new links I'm getting, not just from my site, but also my competitor sites too. Because if I see who's linking to my competitors on a daily basis, I can then hit those sites up and try to convince them to link to me. So that's pretty much it on the link building side. Check out Mailshake or any other provider you want. Upload the outreach templates. We gave you some. Mailshake has a lot. And go send 50 outreach emails per week. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you keep doing that for a few months, you will do well. So that's pretty much it on the link building end. It's, I know I didn't give you like hundreds and hundreds of tactics. I decided that I'm going to make it short to the point and just share with you the ones that are working the best because why have you do all this busy work that doesn't produce results.